Striker Scorpion 82 is now sponsored by Warhammer Combat Cards, a card battle game featuring your favourite Citadel miniatures from the 40k universe. Build your army decks, dominate opponents in player versus player action, collect and upgrade cards to fit your strategy, improve their power and unlock unique traits. Choose from all 40k factions, take part in campaigns based on iconic 40k battles, rise to the top of the leaderboard and win glory. Free to download and play, link is in the video description below or on the channel homepage and by using the unique link it helps support the channel. Thanks and enjoy the game. Right, welcome to another army painting reference video. Uh, it's a series that I'd done a number of years ago. I took pictures of front, back and side views of my models. Uh, but I'm going to do this in sort of a video format this time here. A chance to talk through uh, the models as you see them. Uh, a lot of time we're playing our games and it's not always possible to get a, a close up view uh, of how the models are painted. So these videos here is one already for the Blood Angels if you haven't checked that out already. Uh, planning to do others in the series as well. Uh, but in this video it's Drakari. And it's a chance to or zoom in, take our time and go through all the units and models, chance to see how they've been painted up uh, and try and rotate the models around so you can get all the views that you need. So if you want to paint and copy the scheme uh, for my Tricari, you're welcome to. And uh, this video is to act as a painting guide to help you do that. So before we get going here, just mention the uh, channel sponsor, it's Goblin Gaming. There's a link for them in the video description below uh, for discount 40k if you do uh, use them then use that unique link and then it does help the channel in a small way so Drukhari the color scheme that I've gone for is like a, I'll bring in one of the models here one of the venoms just to give you an idea on the color scheme so there's this kind of off-world ghostly metallic color I wanted something very alien and very sort of distant galaxy type kind of feel to it so uh, that's the kind of colors that I've, I've come up with there and then like a uh, sort of an alien kind of bronze type colour uh, being introduced as a metal as well. So that's the the style. Uh, it's similar to some of the artwork for Jakari as well, these sort of dark alien type metals that are being used, something a bit off world compared to you know, standard sort of steel uh, and so on. You want sort of a, a sinister feel about the Jakari. So there is a tutorial how to paint Dark Elder, it's on the channel. That process that you see in that video, and hopefully it's either live now or it will be coming live soon, uh, is how to paint Drakari in-depth painting tutorial as well. Uh, but use those resources. In the in-depth tutorial I'll show you how to paint one of these, and then for the regular painting tutorial I'll show you how to paint one of the Drakari warriors. Uh, I should link that video for you. You can find it on the channel, just type in, uh, do a channel search on Striker Scorpion 82, how to paint Dark Elder, and it will come up. Uh, and that will guide you through basing, base coats, uh, preparation, washes, and then final finishing touches as well. Cover everything in the video. And it's the same process. So whatever units you see in this video, they've all been painted using the exact same process. Uh, and then obviously in the end depth painting tutorial, uh, a lot more detail uh, for you, showing you how to do these markings and chipping effects uh, and so on for the larger projects but uh, we'll start in the logical order here so I'll go from HQ choices first of all then troops elites and so on finishing up with the vehicles uh, and then as we will zoom out and you can see the whole army uh, on the board at the end of the video as well so we'll start with this model here this is Drizar master of blades and uh, it features in my current Drakari list and Drakari not the largest army that I have but uh, it's a chance to see some of the units that I haven't used uh, for a long, long time, so, so it's uh, a good opportunity to see all the models. But I'll rotate them around so you can see. So this is one of the latest models that I painted up, just using the same process that I used when I first started collecting these, so nothing's changed. But if you're going to collect Tricari, this model is highly recommended. Beautiful sculpt from Games Workshop, excellent base work, as I added a few extra skulls onto him. But look at the pose in that model, fantastic. And the rules for him at the moment. For Drizari's fantastic. Now, you've got the silver, the bronze, this off-worldly green and blue wash, 
uh, for the armour here, the details picked out, and then for a spot colour I went for this blue, uh, things like the hair, and there's a bit of fluorescent green being used as well. And those colours just help the whole thing to pop and stand out on the battlefield. There he is, that's Drazar Master of Blades. I think I would say probably my favourite unit, I think, at the moment. Fantastic sculpt, and very happy with how he's come out uh, here for this paint colour scheme. And it's not too time consuming either, you're covering large areas of the washes on the armour, so it's uh, I'm quite happy with the speed uh, he's come out. So there he is. Got a few HQs here, go on to this one. Again, one of my favourite sculpts, the Drakkar, it's the Succubus model, comes as a separate plastic kit. And there she is. So which is more hair, you can see here, and then just using that fluorescent green, moot green, is the colour I think I used uh, here for this one. Deadly model in close combat, this one. A few extra skulls added to the base, usually for my HQs, but spend a little bit more time uh, making them better. So there is a, there's a bit of metal underneath here just to weigh her down a little bit. Just to help stop her from falling over as often she'll be going over terrain or whatever. But there she is. Just rotating all the way around so you can see. You can pause the video as uh, for your painting reference. A bit of brown going on in here as well. Just highlighted something not too as uh, that's going to overwhelm the other colours. I want the, the eye to be drawn to the blue and the green. It's a nice clashing colour scheme. What some people are doing is is copying the colour scheme and they're swapping out the spot colours. So they're swapping the blue out for something else. Sometimes red, orange. Uh, then they're swapping out the green for something else. You could go for neon, anything you want really. Fluorescent, pinks and scarlets and all sorts of colours like that. Purples, turquoises would look great. Turquoise would actually look a very nice colour. That's called a teal kind of colour. Uh, and the hair you can change out to any colour type that you want. So you can go for any combination. I just went for the blue and the green. It seems to work quite well. Uh, a couple of HQs. Now these, I believe, came as uh, a blister pack where you got two in the one pack. These are both in metal. So these are uh, lead or metal sculpted uh, archons here. Now I think I, yes this one comes with like, uh, they come with blades um, so I swapped out the husk blade, the, the metal option and put on a plastic um, agonizer here for him. And there he is. Again gone for that sort of subtle old flesh leather kind of colour for the cape here on him. Again just keeping the eyes attention on the on the fluorescent green and blue. Just helps them pop out. You don't have to, you could do them entirely in suppressed sort of colours, but I wanted a bit of a bit of uh, liveliness to these. The green is nice colour, sort of that poisoned kind of colour, so I think it fits in quite well. The skin on these uh, is your shabti bone as with the washes on top there's no sort of flesh colour in there at all, it's a very washed out gaunt kind of colour here, pretty much the same as a paint the skulls, so just wanted that sort of sickly pale skin kind of look for these. And there he is. Then on to troops choices, so I have uh, warriors. These fell out of favour for a good while and now that they're back uh, in force, uh, a good representation of them, of them in my current list. I've got a good few. Sort of paint them up as I need them. As uh, we'll zoom in on a couple here, just to give you an idea. So using the, you can see I've used the spot green colour uh, on the markings. They're sculpted onto the model for you, so you can just run the brush over those and pick them out. Same on the, the glowing colour for the, the poison weapon in the tip as well. Just really happy with how that's come out. And then you've got your suppressed sort of brown and bone colours here. The other parts of the model. I spray these, let me think now, silver. So I spray them with the plate mount silver as a base and from Army Painter. And that gives me the base colour I need for all of my all of my metallic work. And, and then pick out the other colours. Pretty much all the colours, you know, black, green, Browns will go straight onto that silver, no problem at all, it's a nice light colour. Before I do that with the silver, I'd always spray the model with Munitorum Armoured as uh, Munitorum Varnish. 
and that just stops when I put the washers on it stops the washers from puddling and uh, it breaks sort of the, the surface tension on there so a little bit of varnish solves that and that means the ink and washers will flow on that quite nicely and evenly there he is quite straightforward a couple of little extra ammo bits there again just with the neon green that's all you need to do the rest is just all quite muted just picking out the bits you want people to to see and the eyes as well down the green just one, I'll show you the different options here. Just a witch head being added on top, you could swap the kits around. Uh, and then the power skin and blue hair. This one's like a squad leader. I think that's a hallucinogen grenade launcher on the back. So I can use him as a regular model, uh, or just with this bit added on you can make him into a squad leader. Nice pose on that one. Nice sculpt work on these, the, the armour. That's the, the great thing about this sort of silver colour scheme is you can pick out the armour here. I do the washes and then I, I repaint and sharpen up all the edges with the silver as well just to make these stand out. Nice here. Another one. This could be the model from the painting tutorial, perhaps. Let's see him. A couple of different weapons. There's a shredder. Again, just sprayed silver, putting on this bronze colour, it washes over the top, and then pick out the metals once again. Nice strong thing with these. And there's one equipped with a blaster. Same kind of colour scheme going on there with the, the gun as well as a squad leader. A blast pistol, and then just a Hecatari blade, I think, for him. Uh, Dark Lance, which is a deadly weapon now. Picked out a few gems just in the blue. Like so. A couple other models here, I'll show you these. This one's the one from the tutorial, I think. Another blaster as well. Couple more loads of different poses you could do. Again, look, a piece being brought in from the witch sprue. The witches. You can just do your own combinations that you want to go for. Not too much, but you can subtly add in a few bits from those sprues. There's two more. And there's another squad leader. I'll do the banners in black. I can add a transfer onto that perhaps later on. That's that one there. So, good number of warriors, about 20 or so of them roughly. Uh, the next unit of troops, got quite a good number of witches. So I'll bring those across. So which is uh, lighter armour on these and a sort of variety of close combat weapons. So the one on the right is a Hecatrix. A little bit of uh, life coming in here, the lower lip. When you paint lips on models, it's quite a good idea just to paint a lower lip, not both. Obviously it looks like, look like they've got lipstick on. So you can go for just one lower lip and then you can try and pick out teeth at the top. You get kind of that kind of result uh, there. She's equipped with an agonizer. And then you, there's more work to do here with the skin coming through, but that very gaunt, washed out look for the skin on these. And the witches, the blue hair pops out nicely on these. And then just a little bit added on the back to represent her being the squad leader. There's another one kicking around here somewhere. Is that one? See the blue hair picks out nicely. Just something totally different to other factions. And then these are there's so much variety with these with the torsos, weapon loadouts, and helmets as well. We've got bareheaded here and here, and then you've got this one, the enclosed helmet with this sort of silver front to it, it looks particularly cool. It's almost like something out of Tron almost. Then these, equipped with the gauntlets, I think. There's a shard net and impaler on this one. The net. Very cool. Iconic unit for the Tracari. And then you can mix in, I put some longer spears on these. I mean, why not? You can do what you want. I think this actually came from one of the models on the Raider. You get a few infantry of that. Took one of the arms from that so you can mix all these things up. I'd like to throw the spear on this one. This video will give you a really good idea of how to go about painting these up. There's more there as well, different types of blades, combinations. 
possibilities are endless with this kit. I'll show you them all, it's the one chance to have a look at them, see them. You can copy some of the poses if you wish as you build the models. Oh, they're quite cool. And that sort of fist blade. So a good number of these ones. This was a major overhaul from Games Workshop. So they took the old Drakari models and then just completely revamped the entire collection. It was a good move. They're, they're fantastic models now. They're all in plastic, so really good work. From them, another shard net impaler. That one. Through the hair coming down. So really happy with them. Uh, I guess on to elites. Now I have. What I have here is Incubi, 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 however they're pronounced. Uh, ten of them. Now these are in lead. Then also, uh, and I'm glad I did, I painted up five of the newer models as well. So there is a difference with the basing. So you can see there is a slight difference to the bases. Imagine when the uh, Eldar redone and so on, they'll be on these newer size bases just here. They, they are a better job. See that the feet to the edge of that nicely, that's the plastic one. And then feet hanging over the edge. It, d it does look small and not quite right when you compare the two together. So it's a good move from Games Workshop. I'll show you the lead ones. So there's not too much, if I pick out two that are quite similar. So there you've got uh, the metal one on the right and the plastic one on the left. So once they're painted up, it's pretty, you can get away with them, They're, the proportions are pretty much the same. But it is a superior sculptor, the ones in plastic are, are better. Uh, but you can easily get away with the ones in, in metal that do look fine. Easily fight alongside each other. So there they are. And again, just applying the same uh, process here as before. Sprayed silver, uh, picking out your base colours, washes over the top, and then picking out the final colours. Gone white on the helmets, nice, nicely picks them out, sort of elite type troops. And then it's quite common sense really where the armour is, you just do that metal. Uh, where there's cloth, like at the back of the legs, just in there, um, the gloves, back of the arms, I just thought it was a grey. Again, sort of a muted down colour that's not going to stand out too much. But you've got different metallics going on, you can split your metallics on the blade, so silver on the blade and then the, the bronzy colour being used as well. All sorts of options. And the spot green picking out gems and the combat drug pipes and so on. These. So I need to show you all of them. Pick out maybe a, a couple more. Again, these are metal ones. Brutal things, heavy infantry, deadly in close combat. And then I'll show you the ones in plastic. Beautiful models. The quality of the sculpt is incredibly good. And there's the other two, and I'll show you the squad leader as well. So you can go bareheaded, went for the double blade with him. Really happy with how he's come out. And then, really, once you know your process, you just apply it as whatever miniature it is. So, you, you know, you do your metals in that colour, um, your bronze colour being used in certain areas, and then your, the hair is always going to be in that blue. And then any standing out designs or pipes and so on, just picking out as in the green, so you just you just apply it as you go along. And then there's the, the bare head there with the washed out sort of flesh look. And again, same principle, painting the painted the bottom lip and then the bottom and top teeth on this one. To get that result on the head. But it's worth it, it's worth, worth making a bit of extra effort with these, adding an extra skull to his base. This all helps that to stand out. So that's the Inkabi. Uh on to fast as I think next. So we'll do the scourges or scourges. Now these, this is units fell out of favour for a long time, and, and then decided to bring them back in more recent games. And they're in my current list. I give them all the cheaper option shredders at the moment. Uh, this is sort of a conversion. I, I chopped up a number of uh, weapon options to try and make uh, something like a haywire blaster, um, but I could use that for anything. It's just my own customised weapon on him. Bit of metal on the base stop them from tipping over so easily uh, but they're rising up off the ground here 
brilliant sculpts on these and the wings brilliant job subtle on the wings just a little bit of purple on here a bit of highlighting to tip uh, on the tips of the wings but nothing too much and again the blue and the green being used throughout here so the same theme running with these so there's one there's one here with the standard sort of carbine face on that one looks very cool nice helmet on that one another one with the carbine brilliant poses the wings are all different to each other as well with different shades like blue purples greens as well making each one look different like a green color just sort of subtle didn't want the wings standing out too much but again just keeping the focus on the hair and the armor and the neon green just to keep that theme nice and strong you can play that one as a heat lance and then there's the squad leader like so quite straightforward on the wings you could spend forever painting the wings but I just flicked highlighted these the sculpting works really good it just picks up any highlights that you do with the dry brush a little bit of blue coming through on that one again blue hair being painted so that's those uh, then a unit that's not been used for a long, long, long time. So it's a chance to see them here in this video. It's the Hellions. They're just from one edition to the next. They've not been that great. They've been okay, but just I haven't quite made it into my list. But they're there. There's a little unit of ten of them here. But a chance to, to see the detail. The sculpting was crazy. And if you can, you can angle when you glue them. You can angle the boards here at a different angles. You can get some really good, good poses with these. Again, same principle. Blue hair, neon colour, armour, all picked out. And then for vehicles uh, and things of this kind of scale, I introduce the two spot colours as markings on uh, the actual uh, vehicles as, and the, the skyboards in this case, uh, just here. So it's a different pattern every time. And I split it, so I go like blue on one side, green on the other. And each one will have a unique design painted on. Just sort of bars and bends on them. Almost like a graffiti, just their own markings. So it's, it's quite cool. You see them from one side, it's all blue, the unit, and then when you see the unit from the other side, it's all green. But people have been sp uh, swapping out these spot colours for different combinations. And I've got these double blades and splinter pods as the shooting weapon. There's the pattern there. It does look particularly nice on the reavers, which you'll see in a minute. I think that one's perhaps my favourite pose. Just bending the board right down and then just running the model on the very edge. Just very, very cool. Very nice. There they are. Squad leader with the usual agonizer. There's a design on the board. You, know, you can pause this and copy as much as you want. You'll see all the units together and what an impact the colour scheme has. Is this one is broken? Need to find a bit to stick that back on. A bit fragile, Dracari, to to watch out and keep an eye on them. Transport them carefully. There's two more. Get with the boards painted up. I mix these up actually. See that green on one side and green on the other side for the others. So they're a bit mixed up in that regard, but it doesn't matter. Move those out of the way. We'll show you uh, another fast attack option. It's after Drazar to be my favourite unit. It's the Reavers. I just think the sculpt on these, the concept for these jet bikes is fantastic. They're beautifully done. A really good design. I have a unit of nine. So I'll show you the model like so. You not get to see this kind of thing in the game. This is a chance just to. You, know, you can use this video as a reference in the future when you come to painting them up. I'll even show the underneath. I spend too much time on the underneath here. It's sprayed silver already, so you've got black being picked out, some metallic uh, going for the bronze colour here underneath. It's all ribs, it's quite quick to paint. And then, model looking like that. And then there's your design on top. So it's a nice platform for doing the designs. 
uh, with these. And then sort of the chipping effect as well, just to make it look nice and metallic and solid. This is that one. That one. Real contrast and designs you can go for. Still like them, just makes them very iconic, makes them pop out as well as number two. Like so. Two more. Some of them I've taken the weapon upgrades. There's a heat lance under this one. Just picking out the end in the bronze. Again, each design different, like a snowflake. <laughs> and then these two. Like so. But when you when you see the whole unit together, looking from above, just the just look very cool. In fact. There you go, you can see them. You turn a unit that just looks you know quite flat and then you start bringing in the, this design uh, I think it's worth doing they just they just look very very good as a bunch of them on the board so that's a unit of nine of them uh, here and just really love the sculpt brilliant job brilliant concept for these uh, jet bikes here uh, from games workshop now I would pick out things like see if you can see it the little control panels there done in the green and sort of the, the gemstone type effects I've gone for on them, sort of, a bit of extra detail being added in uh, as well. Any sculpted icons picked out in the green as well. Just giving you an idea of the paint job on these. So that's those uh, Reavers. So on to vehicles. So this is the uh, Venoms. Same process, picking out some of the metallics in that bronzy colour. Uh, hash up copper, I think it's the colour that I use. Uh, spraying the model in silver, varnish over the top to help the washes go on, picking out almost base colours, uh, and then the armour here is uh, two washes. Uh, it's uh, a blue and then a green. Uh, but for your exact colours, uh, that'll be listed in the painting tutorial. I can't remember the two washes uh, there for these, but uh, it's a case of putting those two washes on top of each other and, and then you get that sort of blue green kind of look and it's the brush strokes keeping it nice and even not letting it flood too much but keeping it just a, a, a general covering and, and quite even and then nice brush strokes just to make it nice and smooth and, and then you're just picking out your edges with the silver again sort of brushing back in this direction as well and that's the kind of effect that you can get but you get that kind of strange metallic colour that's, that's really what I wanted for the Drakari there's details of underneath all picked out as well, banners, and then your, your markings again, so on one side the green, one side the black, pick out the fins in black just to give like a, an anchor for these spot colours and, and the front panel as well, just pick them out, just, it sort of tones, brings the whole model down, because it's meant to be quite dark and sinister, and so areas of black can help with that, um, so there's one, I've actually got four, most of them with crews, there's crew on here, on top, a couple of extra skulls and banners being added. Plenty of accessories for the Drakari vehicles. And the split colours. Another one, this one's loaded up with witches. There's three on there. They look very cool. It, it, it's obviously more work to paint up the crew, but they just look fantastic, so I've tried to put them on some. So there's witches inside there, and then... And in the window, I'll paint by hand Stick it on last with super glue just so I don't frost up the window with the varnish. Some people block the windows out, but I like to have them as so you can see through them. And then there's one more. Just here. Oops. There's another one. Just a sort of crewman. E even if you just do one model on the gun, it, it does look cool. Like, this ain't not quite sort of empty here with no crewman on this one. Hard, but at least have one model on the gun. I think it's well worth going for. There they are. There's some I think, chain snares I think been added on the back of this one as well. So that's the Venoms, we're going to start going up in scale here, so some larger vehicles and flyers next. So what we've got here is a Raider, and again you're taking, you're taking the same process uh, but just upscaling it here, so spray the whole thing in silver, pick out metallics and base colours, washes over the top, uh, and then your highlights that go on same kind of split colour scheme 
uh, here on these panels and at the back same kind of principles as seen in the other models and flip them around to the blue on the other side did take some of the transfers from the Ducari transfer sheet and did put the crew on these as well so there's three cr four crew five crew one on the gun one driving here at the back and a couple of others hanging on the sides but the crew looks so good they've sculpted them and posed them so that you can just hang them on at different parts of the vehicle it makes a massive difference most Ducari players that I've seen don't do it but you're, you're missing out on something it's a chance to have all these models hanging off the sides of the vehicle and uh, it's well worth doing see if we can see, I just I just think the whole look of that is fantastic it's really worth doing it and there's, there's two hanging off the side just here real sort of pirate theme to it just an overtop vehicle with no crew it just it, obviously it looks like you haven't bothered and it's just a shame and they've supplied you in the kit with the models to do it so I think it's a well, well worth doing I think I've done crew on all of these, got another Raider like so and there's some crew, there's one hanging off the side there of a spear another one hanging off by like a, a, a chain thing that keeps them on just there one on the other side look at that, brilliant extra skulls being added on this side as well again, uh, the driver, driver and the vehicle commander as well there's the detail underneath, just all in bronze really and there's the markings on the sides like so, let me flip it around, it's the blue these are fragile, you've got to be careful transporting these a lot of fragile parts but uh, it's worth looking after them there's the Raider brilliant, again brilliant re-sculpts from Games Workshop they redid the whole of the Jokari range fantastic job uh, then next I have a Ravager so the triple dark lance on this one and sort of the shock prow option on the front again with all the crews, the three gunners and then the driver Again, worth going. It just not doing the crew, just having no one sitting at the guns just doesn't look right. If you've got it fully crewed, it looks more mean, more menacing, uh, I think, on the battlefield. Just that one. Again, fragile enough, these, but they are quite soft and they're beautiful. So. There's all different ways you can paint Drakari. So many colour schemes out there. You really have got a lot of artistic license to do exactly what you want. Um, We'll go on to flyers next. I'm not sure how much. No, no, you'll see them. That's okay. So I'll take them off the base here. That's the base in work. I'll show you how to do that in the tutorials, both the regular tutorial and the in-depth painting tutorial as well. Sometimes I'll, I'll put bits of metal around the base. Don't really need it with these. The, the flyers are quite lightweight and, and plastics. So there's not much weight to them. Uh, this is the Razor Wing Jet Fighter. I think I got this one off eBay and it didn't come with the, the plastic canopy here so I had to use an Eldar one so that's why that's that kind of shape but this is a good illustration of how you can split the colours with the iconic markings so green on one side, blue on the other and, and showing you a larger area of the metallics how it can come out so base colour of the silver uh, the wash is over the top uh, green I think first, then the blue, and it gives you that greeny, obviously greeny blue kind of finish uh, and then my brush strokes are going up and down the vehicle in this direction uh, and just collecting the washes, make sure they don't puddle or run make sure they just go nice and smooth uh, and then once that's dry and nice and even uh, I then start to pick out the more extreme edges uh, with uh, the metal, I think it's Iron Breaker I use uh, on that and then just capturing the edges here going around uh, edge highlighting on the panels as well and that gives you that kind of effect but it's quite unique, I don't really have any other armies that are using a, a colour scheme like this and just to mix things up you've got your this off world green blue metal and then you've got your bronze being used in other areas as well and then your yeah, black panels being picked out similar to the other vehicles just repeating the same kind of scheme so the army just matches in, ties in nicely looks nice and unified despite sort of the chaotic look there is that unity in your colour scheme and, and then that black acts as a nice 
platform to then put these markings. And it does look, I think, even better on the larger vehicles. So I'm not upscaling the markings. The thickness of these brush lines here are the same as they are on any of the models, but just more numerous and bigger in sort of length uh, than on the other models. That's the razor length. I'll flip it over so you can a chance to see. I'll go sideways first of all. Again, same, see the design there. A little bit on these smaller fins. And rotating around to the blue on the other side. And then underneath, chance to seal this, you'll never see it in the uh, the bad reports. So again, same, there's no need to do the markings underneath. There's no point at it, you won't see it. But I do put the black in, a bit of chipping. There's the rack of missiles. It's all under there as well. Quite mean looking. I do like the Drakari flyers. Very much so. That's the Razorwing Jet Fighter. Now we'll upscale here and show you the Void Raven bomber. <laughs> I run two of these, they're not the most popular choice competitively, but boy do they look impressive on the battlefield. So you've got your four engines on the back of this thing. It is big, it's, it's a big model. Intimid quite intimidating. Got the double canopy, so you've got like the driver here and the bomber gauging at the front. Try my best to keep these panels nice and clear so you can see right inside and he's got his sight and equipment looking down. Brilliant concept. But again, same process, you can see that you're running the brush strokes in this direction. But if I just Glint it on the camera for you, you can see it, the light just picking it up, like so. And then rotate her over, got two pods for the missiles, and then that's the void mine, uh, sort of dangling down there at the front, like so. That's the cockpit, so you can see right through the cockpit. There, some people block black it out again just to save time but I, I think it's worth a little bit of effort it's very cool very unique like so and again your markings on the, the wings and so on and then I have a second one compares pretty much the same just like that but two of them on the battlefield is quite a quite a presence to have those and taking the void lances here and you can see the engines just through there pick those out in the bronze so you've got multiple metal areas it's good to have two metallics that you can split them between so you can go the armor can be that color and then the engine turbine bits can be in the, the bronze it is handy to have two metal options and uh, there and also introducing a bit of black as well I can just split things up nicely without too much effort but again spraying in silver all the base colours go straight onto that, no problem at all. Washes over the top and then picking out the highlights and edging and so on to get the result that you see just here. That's all covered in the tutorial. So it's a chance to see all the models uh, and you, you, can, you can pause at different points as you go along, paint and go and, and copy each of the units and apply the technique, adapt the technique to whatever you want. Uh, but that is the full uh, army painting reference video here uh, for the Drakari. So what we'll do now is I'm going to zoom out, I'm going to set the whole army up so you can uh, have a view of my full collection. Alright, so that's my full collection for the Drukari. Much of this force I use in my current list, uh, but it's been a chance here to see the extra models that I have. Uh, things like the Hellions, uh, the extra Incubi, uh, and Flyers as well. Uh, but all this army, whatever unit you see here has been painted using the same techniques, check out the painting tutorial. And you're free to adapt and change it to pick, make your own spot colours. You can even change the metallics. You can use different washes to make up the metallics uh, as well. So, uh, But it, you can see across this army the uniting theme. All the units matching in nicely with each other. Just using that same process throughout. So it, it looks like they're all part of the same cult or, or plan or, or cobble uh, here for this Drakari force. But uh, check out the painting tutorials. Two of them. In-depth painting tutorial and the regular painting tutorial. Uh, for the Drakari, you can go on the channel, search for uh, Dark Hurt or Drakari painting tutorials, uh, and you'll find them as a resource as well. Uh, and then use this video as a resource. Uh, See, so I've given you all the views front, back, side, and rear from on top as well uh, for all of these units. So, a chance for you to zoom in uh, and see these models close up uh, as a handy painting reference for you. But that's my full Drakari collection, perhaps one of the smaller collections that I have. Uh, for my one of 40,000 armies, but hoping to continue the series. Uh, thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video and want to see more. 
uh, and then comment as well. And if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, uh, then do subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications of future videos. I also mentioned Instagram as well. Follow me on Instagram, uh, and that'll give you uh, updates on what's going on and pictures from the painting desk and our better reports as well. And for discount 40k, it's Goblin Gaming, link in the video description below. Thanks for watching and tune in next time.